Hello guys and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. Today I am going to t be telling you about some really good passive money making methods. So if you notice, my Necron's armor is gone and yeah, it got scammed. Anyways, what are passive money making methods? So basically, if you're grinding for something then it's active and if you're not doing anything for the money you're earning then it's passive. So basically, you're getting free money. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first of all, of course, they are unbeatable. It is minions. So I personally have 27 minion slots and five of them are from the community center. So so basically here in the community center, if you go to account and profile upgrades, you go to profile upgrades and here minion slots. Um, you get five minion slots for free. Like, that is just so much money every day. So now the minion limit is 29 minions, but I would, I would say don't spend that much money. I think 22 plus 5 is enough because you're gonna spend a lot of coins for 29 minion slots. So these make around 3 million coins a day with a level 93 legendary rabbit pet and the farming crystal right there. So the second one is the experimentation table. If I haven't mentioned it enough in my videos this is a really really OP money making method you will make at least like f I think I make on average three to four mil a day with this table and sometimes I've got this once I got a crit seven book and it sold for 50 million coins so yeah, you can get really lucky and I will always suggest that you do the highest level that you can. You get 9 on this one because 13 takes a long time and get 9 on this one as well. Because then you get 2 from here and 3 from here and if you're doing the highest one it doubles. It doubles them so it makes it. And last and I would say most complicated method is of course investing now you can make hundreds of millions of coins from investing but you could also lose money and now i am going to tell you how to not lose money so the investment types i will be talking about today is from mayors from events and from updates what do i mean from that first of all let's talk about mayors so Basically, when there's a mayor up, for example, Marina, she gives us fishing festivals and then we get shark tooth from that. So, I would say I would invest in shark tooth while she is in office. Probably sometime uh, from the third to the fourth day because that's when the prices are lowest. And then I'm going to sell it after they go up. So, if I show you this here, right now is at 600k i would say and if you just look at the 31 days it went to the highest it was is at 900k basically so basically if you buy them at 600k and sell at 900k that would be a 50 percent profit margin and that is a lot of profit so if you have 200 million coins you will be earning 100 million coins so you would have 300 million coins in total at the end but you know there are also other perks with other mayors so coal gives a mining fiesta i mean they give you minerals but now nobody is buying minerals so don't do that and then aatrox he's the slayer mayor and I used to buy a load of critical six books when he was in office for the first time. So I bought like two double chests of them for 100k each and then I sold them for 550k each. I basically more than quadrupled my money from that. But right then I didn't have a lot of money. I only had 10 mil so I made like 40 mil from that. So another mayor you would be wanting to invest in is the mythological event if we look here the prices are at 66 66k and at the lowest i think they were at 45k so that is 20k profit so that is almost a 50 percent profit margin also during diana i would say buy a ton of shovels and griffins so as you can see here 
I have all of these griffins. I probably bought like three dubs each of griffins and spades and then I sold them all. I sold the spades for 199k each and now I'm selling the griffins for 89k each. So doing that, I mean you have to put some effort in, you have to put them up on the auction house but that will give you a low ton of profit. In Diana of course people also use a lot of gold so yeah, we can't really see from this graph right here, but when Diana is here, the gold is at 250k, and now it's at 150k. So when Diana isn't here, just buy a lot of gold, and then when Diana is here, sell it all. Actually, I have been using all of these methods, and this is the one that has been the most profitable after all of this time. And right now, I actually have two stacks of these in my island. And another really good mayor to invest in would be Paul. So, what Paul does is, when he has three perks, he lowers the price of all of the ch dungeon chests. And this will lead to more people doing dungeons. He also gives bonus score. And thus, the price of dungeon items drops. Ultimate wise books... For 100k each, don't buy higher than that. And then craft them into ultimate wise 5 books. And sell them for a lot of money. Because, see, this one has just sold for 2.5 million coins. So if you do the mass 120k times 16 books, that is 1.92 mil. So you get 500k for free from doing that. And also because Paul has just been mayor recently, so the books are not so high right now. But at their highest, they will go to 200k each. So you would be making a 100% margin on this. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is events. What I mean by events is if you look in your calendar, there is the Spooky Festival and the Season of Jerry. So these are the two events you'll be investing in. For the spooky event, you just want to buy a lot of candy. So if we come into the bazaar for purple candy and look at the graph. So there you go, when the spooky event happened, the prices of the purple candies went down. And so did it six days ago, as you can see from the graph right here. So if you invest then and sell like just before the spooky event, you could also make a lot of money. But this is not as good as the mayor ones, but you are going to wait less. And if you're rich enough, you could look at baby yeti pets. Usually they sell for 30 million coins when the winter event is happening. And now they are selling for 35 million coins. And that is because the season of cherry event is going to happen in 11 hours. So the, the, so the island is going to open in a few hours. And this is the peak. This is when you're going to want to sell. And, you know, you're not going to make a lot of money from these yetis. You're going to make a 16% margin from that. And if we look at the gifts, five days ago, they dropped to 5.2k. And now they're at 6k. So for this, you're going to make about a 70 and 18% margin. And for the giant in the room is, of course, updates. So this is where the most of the people lose their money. And you could lose a lot of money if you invest in the wrong thing in updates. Like for the dwarven mines, a lot of people invested in minerals. But look at where minerals are right now. They are into the ground. The prices are so low. Um, they were 200k before the update, and after that, the market just crashed. But if you know what to invest in, and if you're lucky, because there is an element of luck, luck in it, in investing, you could gain lots of money. But usually, I stay away from this kind of investment because it's high risk high profit and i don't like losing my money so i really hope that that helped you out and help you earn a lot of money passively and that'll be it from me today and i'll see you next time bye